All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe to me here on YouTube. So today, uh, I was trying to find a, uh, a free data profiling tool, right? That was my number one criteria. I had to do some data profiling and my price had to be free, right? So I found this tool called Idera SQL Data Profiler. So nice little tool here. Yeah, you know, there's more robust options that you can go pay for, but in a pinch, you know, this this will do you uh, just fine. So what this does, I'm connected to, or I have a, um, uh, 2017 SQL Server Express instance, um, but this tool can connect to uh, 2016, 2014, 2012, or Microsoft SQL Server, I'm talking, um, Microsoft Azure, uh, Amazon Relational Database Service, so it can connect to uh, uh, some tools here from the Microsoft family and, and Amazon as well. Let me show you uh, how this works. So all you do is connect you know when you when you first come in and download the tool um, you, you're going to hit connect here and connect to your instance and then you'll select a database which I'll do I have some mock data in here and my table uh, HR file and you'll see I get uh, a profile that comes back here just a table profile 14 columns I must have a column with all nulls in it so it says number of column profile 13 uh, thousand rows and you know gives you a little last uh, update date here for the schema and you can choose uh, your data types I wanted to look at text numeric date and large object. I don't have any large objects in this database so we're not going to uh, deal with that I'm going to select profile column value uh, distributions here and you'll see what that does in a second I have a little bit of a an issue with the results from this but uh, for now we're just going to check it and you know we have we have our database we have our table set up so now all we do is hit profile and it's going to go to work right boom uh, comes back with a column profile so let's let's start with maybe department here you can see that i have a uh, a length of 24 that's in the in my database this department field is 24 my minimum value has zero length my maximum value is 24 my average is 7 um, there aren't any numeric there aren't any nulls there's 373 zero length so it likes to make a uh, it likes to distinguish between nulls and zero length here at least and I'll show you down at the bottom uh, why it's different uh, you'll see here there's 37.3 um, percent zero length what that represents 13 distinct values right so within there are 13 distinct departments right and if I go down here you'll see how this this is the value distribution for column so I'm um, sorry for department and you'll see it says no here even though it tells me up here these are zero length so that's you know a little minor flaw but you know we can, we can live with it but it'll also tell me my breakdown uh, of the values in that field so sales research and development engineering it gives me the respective number uh, the count of those values and the percentage so that's handy then it gives you a little uh, comment too. consider changing the data type to a smaller var car type right gives you a little recommendation here as well uh, what I don't like about the column value distribution if I let's say I select email right I don't I don't know why it picks and chooses uh, which columns it gives you a breakdown on so that's that's interesting uh, in and of itself I do have values in the email you can see there's only 373 zero length out of a thousand right so I do have values in here average length of uh, 13 characters so that's interesting uh, in and of itself but yeah if we go down here let's look at date right it tells me it's a date time and then 356 distinct dates and then it'll tell me my max date and my min date uh, 12 30 18 all right uh, someone's been around for a long time if that's the higher date right um and then i don't have anything in hours minutes and seconds so i'm getting all zeros there so so again you know just a nice little tool a little, little overview there's more robust options out there in the market but this is the right price and so you can take this data and export it if I were to hit export here I'll end up with something like this it spits out um, the information that you see into a uh, text file and this is tab delimited right this is the profile information that we looked at it's all tab delimited so if I wanted to I could take this and um, uh, import it into Excel which I have and you'll see here 
right? This is the, the same file just imported into Excel. And if I had to copy this into another uh, tab, I could, I could do that. I could certainly do that. So this is what the data looks like. Um, you know, tab delimited. It comes in, you know, pretty, pretty well. So again, free tool uh, gives you some of that basic uh, statistics and analysis that you need before you can start your more interesting work in data visualization or, uh, you know, uh, analysis in, in SQL Server, what have you. So this is a, a good place to start. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.